I asked, I said, hey, Russ, do you know a pianist in the area? Um, I'm looking for a musician to work with. And he said, um, well, what are you doing? And I said, well, I just want to do, uh, you know, I'm, I'm a singer-songwriter, and, and I want to do some of my songs real simply just with another musician. And he said, well, I just, you know, I play guitar. I knew he played guitar, but he, but he told me that he was working with a singer and a percussionist. And he said, I'm interested in doing that. So we hooked up, and we started rehearsing. And actually, I'm really glad that we got together because, um, Russ is a wonderful guitarist, and also it's really interesting doing this music with guitar rather than piano because it gives it another flavor. <laughs> There's no 
no one else that can love me like you do. So I leave it all up to you. Take all the dreams of my life. Take all the reasons I give. Make me feel naughty and nice. Make me feel strong enough to live. There's no one else that can love me like you do. So I leave it all up to you. Shove it up, shove it up, shove it up. Do 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 do. You were a gift that was sent from a. It's quite exciting. I mean, it, it, it keeps you always uh, putting yourself out on a limb. You know, you're the only, the only person there, so you have to fill it up. And you got to fill up and sound pretty much like an orchestra. Uh, my years in, in music school, I always admired and envied piano players. They seem to have an array of sounds. They can, they can sound uh, as, as small or as big as they wanted to. Um, so I was, I was envious. Blue 
like kind of inspirational for me and which is like I always think I'm a lazy writer because of that because <laughs> I don't sit and like hack away and what is it and da, da. usually it is like a very inspirational thing and a lot of times especially lately it, it comes lyrically and musically together and even lately I write without an instrument I think regardless whether the tempo's you know uh, an up an up tuner or a or a ballad um, I still, I think I, uh, I pretty much approach it as uh, bass and melody. Mm -hmm. Okay, I keep, uh, keep conscious of the melody. I keep a constant flow of the bass line going uh, while hitting har you know, harmonization points in my playing. You know, so, so you have that kind of contrapuntal thing going on that it always sounds like there's two guitar players or a bass and, and guitar or bass and piano going on. There's a great cloud above us, but there's someone to love us. We're here for a while, we're here on our own. And there's a way to get over, a way to get under it. I know we're alone, so I'll make So please give me your hand and then I'll give you mine. There are so many more mountains to climb. And in the end, well, I'll be your friend. I'll be your friend.
I would call it pop, and uh, what what what's happened lately is, it, is it's it's been pushed in a jazz direction. So I would call it pop jazz. Uh, it's kind of a combination. Uh, it, harmonically, it has you know vast you know intense harmonies to it, more of a so-called jazz harmonic background um, uh, to the songs, whereas most of the rock and roll. Um, and um, quote pop music has a lot less of that intense harmony. So I'd have to say, yeah, it, it's it's a combination. It's a combination. Uh, it's it's still approaching the song, saying, well, here's the harmony. How can I enhance the harmony? How can I build the harmony? How can I lay bass lines next to it? Counter lines. I mean, it has this thing has the duo has has a certain thing, mm -hmm. and that's very intimate and it's and it's really lovely and it, it has its own thing. I think a percussionist is going to still. Re retain its intimacy with the percussionist. Once we make it grow out of that, it's going to change form. But I, I see it as being able to do all that. In a world that forgets, we are strange But I can't to touch you in a million ways I want to know your secret part in a world that forgets we're in danger but I can't get you out of my Ding, ding, and swing 
As a youngster uh, and being influenced by jazz, uh, one of my primary influences, I'd have to say, was George Benson. Um, although not noted as a solo guitar player to the public, he's quite an unbelievable solo guitar player. But there were a lot of other guitar players. I mean, um, uh, growing up through the 60s and 70s, I was greatly influenced by rock and rollers, you know, like Eric Clapton and Jimi Hendrix and um, uh, Albert Lee and, uh, and uh, Alvin Lee and all those people, you know. Sure. Um, but there was always a strong, a, a strong pull towards the West Montgomery's and the George Benson's and Pat Martino's. Uh, people that were noted as solo guitar players were like George Van Epps and Joe Pass. A lot, of, a lot of the 60s people influenced me. I mean, like, Grace Slick was one of my big idols. <laughs> yeah, when I was growing up. And obviously the Beatles and uh, James Taylor. And uh, I also have an affinity for uh, wonderful jazz singers as well, such sure. as Ella Fitzgerald and Sarah Vaughan, Carmen McRae, Blossom Deary.
Cause I'm wild and weary And I pay my dues I'm a woman And comfortable Comfortable shoes Bye.